So I have a Samsung Note 9 here. It's not rooted at all. Um, in fact, it's still OEM boot lock because of the US version and I haven't really messed with it uh, since. Um, but I currently have it screen shared to my computer um, and let's go through this process. Okay, so the first step is we're gonna want to install Termux. Um, we can go ahead and go to this address and then scroll down and install this APK. Go ahead and download it, open the file, allow, and install. First step is done. Okay, and then we're gonna wanna do an apt, uh, let's do an apt update and then let this run. And after that, we'll do an apt upgrade and then throw attack Y. And we'll let this go. When you come across these options, uh, just go ahead and do default, just hit enter. Still unpacking. I'm sure there's going to be another default. Oh, there it is. And another one. Okay, so after the upgrade was complete, we ran another apt update. Um, any links that I go to in this tutorial, I'll post in the description so you guys can just copy and paste and follow along. Now we're gonna install wget using the command apt install wget. And we're gonna use this command to pull the nethunter file in order to install. And then to do that, we're going to do wget tac o install nethunter termux https off tac 2n early echo zulu whiskey romeo. All right. And then if we want to check that out, uh, we're going to want to give this execution permission, so we'll do chmod plus x, install, oh, gross, install nethunter permux. Okay, and then confirm it, and let's run this. So this installation is going to take a minute. Uh, go grab a drink, go get some coffee, go say hi to your friend, uh, just let it run and then come back to it. And nope, it's still running. Okay, so eventually you're going to come across this. Uh, you're just going to go ahead and hit enter, which defaults to no. And there you go. And then now you're prompted with all of these options. Uh, you can type nethunter to start it or nh if you're lazy like me. Uh, but first, we're going to want to set this uh, kex password. So let's go ahead and start up nethunter. And you can see we're in Kali localhost. Local you can exit it by just typing exit, and then you're back to your original shell. So Kex is a VNC service uh, that we'll use later on, but basically you're gonna wanna start it for the first time by doing NH Kex. Uh, these errors are okay. And then here you're gonna wanna uh, type a password, something you'll remember, cause we're gonna be using it. I'm just gonna type in Kali. Can't type in Kali, so I'll just type a random. Word. 
Uh, here, I'm going to say no. And then remember this port number. Uh, it defaults to this, so I'm sure you can look it up. So after you do this step, we're going to go back to our browser and go to this URL. And we're going to go ahead and install this uh, Kali NetHunter APK. Noting that I specified the package installer and not Termux. And then from here, we're going to type in hex and install this. Then we're going to try and open it. We're going to allow it to access everything. And then from here, we're going to do Kali as our username and then our password from before and then connect in. And there you go. You should now have a rootless Kali net hunter running on your Android phone. Pretty sweet, huh? From here, we can do basic commands. We can open up the terminal, uh, blow this up a little. Uh, we can send a packet to 8.8.8.8. .8 we can reach it. Uh, we can do a quick nmap of 8.8.8. .8 .8. We can see that these two ports are open, or we can do, I don't know, alley.org. We see SSH, HTTP, HTTPS open. And then if you wanted to uh, escalate to root, you can just do sudo tech i, and then type in alley as a default password. And there you go. Again, all from your Android device. So one of the benefits of running NetHunter on a rootless phone is that modern applications, uh, especially like banking apps, et cetera, they detect root or jailbroken devices and won't run correctly. Uh, but this allows you to utilize your phone in whatever manner and still have Kali Linux on it. If you guys like this video, uh, act that YouTube algorithm for me, like, comment, and subscribe, share it with your friends, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.